in an institution like this. But in fact, it's the quietest and safest place in town. You won't run into any reporters, nobody gets into any fights, nobody drinks too much, nobody even raises their voice. The place is owned by an elderly gentleman who knows how to keep things under control. That's why I never invite my friends here. I wanted to make an exception for my 60th birthday, but most of my colleagues are young enough to be my sons, and they'd rather just hire prostitutes. Why stare at some boobs when you can take the whole package for yourself? But there's none of that in our club. Even looking too long is considered indecent. You can get an occasional glimpse, like by accident. The rest of the time you just pretend that you're immersed in conversation, or just come by for a drink. Doesn't mean these gentlemen wouldn't want their bald heads smothered in tits. It's just that nobody says it out loud. My younger colleagues might call it hypocrisy, but I call it the good old-fashioned manners. Good manners and leave the rest unsaid. She agrees to unbutton her blouse, and we agree not to pay too much attention. The girls are on a quiet prowl, too. They're looking for a way out of their cramped rooms. Maybe make friends with some wealthy patron with a pacemaker and dentures. Everybody wants something. But we have to control ourselves, or we'll all turn into libertines and prostitutes. Hell, if there weren't any rules, I'd be belching and farting, jumping up on the table, arms held high, yelling, Shake it, baby! No idea how I got so barbaric. El juego se llama Dices Police y no dije ninguna introducción ni nada porque comenzó inmediatamente con, con una... Eh, empezó inmediatamente con, con un tema de sonido o de una escena eh, y al parecer es como como por decirlo así, de cierta forma, un juego de policía y de la mafia, vamos a verlo, vamos a chequearlo y vamos a jugarlo definitivamente. Entonces, bueno, eh, vamos a darle de uh, this, the Police, de this, the Police, que bueno, es, esta es la policía en español, eh, y veamos qué es lo que pasa, la verdad. Me pareció un buen juego, me lo compré y por eso. Major Rocks Machine, City Hall, Vamos a ver. Poco fuerte el sonido. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. And I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. 
I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Entonces empieza un poco raro. Estamos como en una especie de conferencia de prensa eh, de ver está mejor dicho. Y bueno, vamos a, a ver qué onda, ¿no? Eh, good morning, que buenos días. Yesterday the mayor officer office officer announced you rest. Did this come as a surprise or did you know about? Desde el día de ayer el mayor eh, oficial eh, anunció que se salía de, de su cargo. ¿Esto te sorprendió o sabías esto anteriormente? The mayor discussion, it would mean, el mayor lo, discu lo, lo discutió conmigo, I've been expecting this bullshit from the mayor. Esperaba esta mierda del mayor, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Eh, me sorprendió. So we work as police for our... Me causó bastante presión ya que trabajó de entre 5 a 10 años. Uh, be working as police for another years. Pensé que él estaría, mejor dicho, de 5 a 10 años más sirviendo a la, a la policía. Me causó mucha... Mucha alarma. O sea, mucha... Como que... Eh, sorpresa, ¿no? Do you already know the name of the sucesor? ¿Sabes el nombre del sucesor? Acá dice, bueno, es, parece que es un nombre nuevo Parece que es un, un nombre veterano del departamento No, no sé quién es, la verdad Pero no, I don't... Pero no, no Dice simplemente, no, no sé cuál es O sea, no sé quién vendrá a responder el cargo Después del reciente escándalo de la corrupción, el, el diputado Francis Kendrick dijo que está buscando como que como resignarse a su cargo, por no decir así. O como que si le ofreciera mi posición cambiaría algo de mente. Ah, estaría feliz. Mm. Drogo Henry was to me, many still believe that the police are cooperative with the mafia. Dicen, mucha gente piensa que aún la policía es cooperativa con la mafia. ¿Tienes algo que decir con eso? Mierda Entonces dice, eh, por favor discúlpeme La policía y la mafia trabajando juntos o Otra vez trabajando con los aliens La mafia son un par de tipos como criminales de baja cal bajo calibre. ¿Por qué no me preguntan mejores preguntas reales? Por decirlo así. No estoy traduciendo tan bien, porque es un poco difícil, pero estoy tratando de hacerlo. Do you think personal relationship with my could be the reason? ¿Tú crees que el, tu relación con el mayor puede haber causado el retiro? Definitivamente no, that's just not possible for my role as a true professional enemy. Eso dice que no, que simplemente éramos muy profesionales y todo el tema.
How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. Pues no se lleva bien con Kendrick. Voy a tomar unas pastillas. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack! I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well, this morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. <laughs> Soon enough I won't be here at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief of all people. <laughs> Don't, uh... Don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days and uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. One hundred and eighty days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Oh. I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy Star. Hmm. Entonces, bueno, todos comienzo lo quieren como sobornar, por decir así, al mayor porque él es el mayor, o sea, nosotros parecemos y más que todo es eso, o sea, como que el inicio fue un poco raro, les piden a un mayor, entra él como mayor, hacemos una entrevista, la mafia viene y te ofrece que en 180 días dejes pasar las cosas que ellos vayan a hacer, y eso es por ahora. Así que nada chicos, eso va a ser el episodio del día de hoy aquí en The Police, eh, y ya los veo pronto en un próximo episodio. Cuídense.